Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I know it's been forever and a day since I've uploaded a video. It's actually been a while since I've even made one. I know I have tons that I still have to upload from this past season, and I don't even think I finished last year yet um, uploading those. But I wanted to do a current one, um, you know, to let you guys know I'm still alive and all that. Uh, it's been a very busy month between my daughter starting high school and all the freshman orientation things and back to school night and the drama and the anxiety with her about, you know, all the changes. And then it, it's been just been hard to make a video because there's been people here constantly. My son, when he's not working, this is the house like where everyone wants to hang out. So I constantly have a house full of his friends either, you know, downstairs playing video games or up here playing Dungeons and Dragons. My house has turned into, you know, like the Big Bang Theory, I swear to God. Um, and then he had a friend from Kansas staying here for a week, so he was here all week, and it's just nuts. Um, but my daughter and I, we did have a break, when was it? Last week, yeah. She had, I guess school was closed for Yom Kippur, and she had been wanting to go see a Broadway show for her birthday, which was back in August, and we just hadn't been able to swing it yet, um, time-wise. So my husband said, you know, she has a day off, why don't you see if there's still tickets and, and take her, because she wanted to see Beetlejuice. So we went into the city on Wednesday and went to see Beetlejuice. I haven't been to a Broadway show in, God, I don't know like four years, something like that. And she picked a good one. Holy cow. If any of you come to New York and you want to go to a show, please go see Beetlejuice. That or Wicked, which is my all-time personal favorite. But it's just funny that she asked for that because she is not my um, show child. In fact, when she was growing up, her one you know major sentence would be like, I don't like shows. I hate that. I, I hate shows. I mean, this child wouldn't go see anything, a magic show, a circus, a, nothing. She just did not have the patience to sit still. So I was kind of shocked when she said, I want to go see a show. I'm like, huh? So, of course, we got there. It was raining. And we don't take cabs or Ubers. We walk. So we had to walk, you know, up 18 blocks from Penn Station, which was so fun in the rain, um, to get to the theater. But we made a few stops along the way. We went to a Japanese bookstore I found that she absolutely freaked out over. Uh, I found that the last time my husband and I were in the city. We went to the Hershey store and the M&M store. And, of course, I had to ride the wooden escalators in Macy's because they remind me of my aunt when she used to be a sales girl there back in the like late 30s, early 40s. So that's my thing. Every time I go in the city, I have to ride the wooden escalators in Macy's. Um... And then we saw the show, which was amazing, so funny, and the cast can sing their butts off. Holy cow. And then she told me afterwards, you know, for Christmas and her birthday, she wants to go see shows from now on. I'm like, hey? <laughs> so I'm very excited because now I have a Broadway kid. I had my museum kid, which was my son. We'd always go in and, you know, see some kind of exhibit or whatever, and now I have my show kid, so... Very happy. Although she probably won't go see Wicked with me because that's my all-time favorite. And she probably won't do it because she knows how crazy I get. And I'll probably sing the whole, you know, all the songs while she's sitting next to me. And it will annoy her because I sing them all the time in the house. I sing all the time. And only around my family, though, <laughs> because I'm terrified to sing anyplace else. But... I'll be walking around the house, you know, and I'll be like, you know, popular, you're gonna be popular. And my daughter's like, please, stop it now. Because <laughs> that's my favorite song from Wicked. Okay, so I'm going to shut up now because it's been almost five minutes. So for those of you who want to, you know, see stuff, here comes stuff. Um... So this is my latest haul, plus I'm going to show you guys what I sold this past weekend. I sold nothing on Friday. Um, I have this conspiracy theory that 
because I have not signed up for managed payments yet because I think they're stupid and I don't like the fact that you don't get your money from some of the people right away because you have to wait for things to clear or whatever, that eBay is punishing me. I don't know. I could be wrong. I, but I'm not doing managed payments until they get their crap together with them. So that's all I have to say on that subject. So anyway, it has been really up and down this past year. It's been a lot slower than normal, but thankfully things are starting to pick up. So let me show you what sold for, and I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think this ended up being $25 or $30 with free shipping. These are two bottles of Clinique liquid facial soap. I paid a buck a piece, um, and they're, I think, only going to Pennsylvania. So these will be going out um, probably priority. I think it's actually cheaper than doing a flat rate envelope, you know, by, I don't know, 20 cents or something. So paid two bucks and got, like I said, 25 or 30. Oh, and by the way, you guys, in case you haven't noticed, I have a new background. I got this at Hobby Lobby for like 75% off because my other one was so jacked up and all you guys would complain, you know, it's ugly or, you know, the, the lines on it would screw up the camera and then I put paper on it and the paper would move around. So here we go. I hope you guys like it. Um, next up is this. Get Started Complexion Kit by Bare Minerals. I got this at a church rummage sale at the Catholic School over in Pennsylvania. Got this for four dollars because they're a little pricey. Sold this for thirty-five with free shipping. I don't know if that goes first class or not. I can't remember. This one I also got at a Catholic School rummage sale in the winter, um, back in I believe sometime in February. I paid two dollars for this. This is one of those extra large ones. Um, I sold it for twenty two ninety nine. Unfortunately, it's going to Arizona, so I'm not going to make too much, but I'll still make a profit. Then I sold these two kids' books. I got these at the little library sale that I go to every September in the next town over, where you can get books, you know, for a song. I think I paid 20 cents a piece for these. This is the Claude Evil Alien Warlord Cat series, which if I was still a kid, I would totally be reading this. Um, I sold these two together for $16.99 with free media mail shipping. Then I got this. Uh, M. Faye pattern. I got this at a rummage sale in the spring for 25 cents. This is a curtain pattern. It's uncut. I sold this for 15 with free shipping. Then I got this CK1 set. Oops, sorry for the glare, guys. Let me take the top off. Focus. Right. This is a four piece CK1 set body lotion cologne, shower gel, and then a small travel uh, cologne. Anyway, got this at the you know Super Bowl of rummage sales that I go to in the spring at yet yeah, another Catholic school, but this one, I think it was the video where I said I, I bought like 120 things for $47, something like that. So I paid less than a buck for this, maybe 50 cents when everything is all averaged out. Uh, I sold it for $55 with free shipping and it's only going to New York so that made me very happy then these next two things I also bought at a rummage sale in the spring one that I had never been to before and unfortunately they just had one last week and I missed it I totally blanked out and forgot about it but that's okay I still have I think two big ones coming up, two temple sales coming up the first week of November, and then that'll pretty much be it for the season. But um, these are from Fitz and Floyd. These are from the Mayflower Mouse collection, and these are the salt and pepper shakers. I bought these for a buck, sold them for thirty plus free shipping, and they'll go first class. Oh no, it's not plus plus shipping. Sorry guys, thirty plus shipping. And then these are the matching. Candle holders. I also got these for a dollar 
and these I sold for 50 plus shipping I believe so not too bad and then last but not least is this Christopher Radko ornament of course it was the only one I couldn't find in the original box at this particular garage sale this was two three months ago but I did get it for only five bucks it still has the tag on it and this of course is Corella DeVille I paid five dollars and sold this for 50 with I believe free shipping and I think that can go first class although I might send a priority just because it's a little pricier and I want it insured. All right, so that's everything that I sold. And let me show you what I got this weekend. There's a lot, and I did not pay much at all, except for the last day. I actually went to a sale on Sunday, and I paid more than I wanted to for the stuff just because it was this older couple, and they had a bunch of stuff in their driveway, and I know how much work it took for them to bring it all out there, and I just I felt bad, so <laughs> I bought stuff from them and her prices were a little more than I would have liked, but that's okay. I saved so much on everything else that it was all right. All right, so first thing, I'll show you that stuff first. I paid, I think, $16 for all this, for only these four things. So first up is this <clears throat> um, paperweight. This is from Waterford. You guys can see that on the bottom. It doesn't want to focus. Come on. There we go. Um, this is their obelisk slash monument paperweight. I paid, I think, seven for that. And then I paid three bucks for this little chubby glass pig paperweight, but I just thought he was really cute but I'll probably only get maybe 10 bucks out of him. The crystal paperweight, probably about 30 plus shipping, hopefully. Then I bought these two lotions and she wanted $3 a piece for these also. This one is Tea Rose by the Perfumers Workshop and that one, I think I can get 10 to 15. This one I should be able to get 15 to 20. This is the Crabtree and Evelyn, there's, there's the English portion, um, Freesia body lotion. So, like I said, not a huge profit, but I'll still make some money. Uh, then at another garage sale I went to, there were a bunch of rummage sales this weekend, but I did hit some garage sales also. I got this guy. <laughs> but I'm, I'm probably going to keep him for a while because he just makes me smile. So, this is a Stife Beaver. And I think he has a name. I think his name is Nagy. N-A-G-Y. Because I've seen him with the little tag around his neck. Um, he's missing the button in his ear. But I just love him because he looks kind of angry. Like he's going to attack someone. You know, you just look at him and it's like... Rah! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Plus he also looks like the 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 gopher from Caddyshack. Can you just see him dancing? So anyway. Uh he was three dollars. I could probably sell him for I don't know, like twenty or twenty five, but I think he's gonna stay with me for a little while and make me laugh. Um let's see. Alright, most of the other stuff I bought for the most part is from rummage sales. So there's one that's outside um, and people got there pretty quick and that is my daughter texting me please hold okay sorry about that um, anyway there was one that was outside people get there I don't know what time people get there it starts at 8 and I got there around 8 but I think people had gotten there way earlier than me so I don't know if a bunch of stuff was already gone or what but I did okay um, and then there were two church sales. So this is from the outdoor sale. This is one of those wheat straw houses. I've sold these before. The roof comes off and they're little trinket boxes. I paid 25 cents for this. It's like a little Swiss chalet. I've never seen one like this before with the water wheel and the fake flowers and all that. Um, I have it up for auction at like 20 
and I shouldn't have a problem getting that. 20 plus shipping, especially because it's, it's one I've never seen before. Those surprised me when I first found them. Um, I think I found one and then I didn't even realize it was a box and then when I did, um, you know, I took the pictures, I listed it and it sold right away. I was like, wow. And I've sold a few since then, so keep your eyes out for those. Um, let's see, at another garage sale, I found this old vintage Halloween piece. It's a plastic house that has all these stickers all over it. It does have a hole where you can clip in a light bulb. It does not, I think it originally came with the clip-in bulb, but this one is missing. But that's okay because they're very inexpensive, easy to find. Pretty much any clip-in light bulb will work. You know, the ones that you put in the Department 56 houses and stuff like that. Um, I did have a spare one laying around, so I took pictures of this with that so they could see it lit up. But it has the original packaging, which all the other ones on eBay do not have. So I put this one up for 35 plus shipping at auction. I already have some watchers on it. It just went up last night and I paid a whopping two bucks for that. And that was at a lady's house. She does the whole garage sale, estate sale circuit, and I don't like going to her house when she has garage sales because she's just, she's nice at her garage sale, but she's not nice everywhere else. She's really obnoxious. She yells at people, she haggles constantly, she's just mean. So I didn't spend too much time in her house and I didn't spend much money. Um, I did buy one other thing from her, but I'll show you guys that in a minute because it piled under stuff. Um, let's see, there was a church rummage sale. They have it in a barn every year. This is the second year they've had it. Last year their prices were a little crazy. This year they got a little bit better. So I did get this aqua aquarellum set. Hello, say that three times fast. Um, this is a kid's like watercolor kit. It has these resist pictures so if you paint and you don't paint in the right spot you know the not if you don't paint in the right spot the design has a resist on it so if you paint on it you know you can paint the whole thing red and you'll still be able to see the design because all the little lines will resist the paint anyway that was 50 cents um i may or may not sell this could get like 10 bucks or something but i might keep it play with it myself who knows Speaking of crafting, for all, these cra all the crafty people that watch me, I was very excited this morning because on the Hero Arts blog, they had like a big blog hop when they released their kit this month, their monthly subscriber kit. And I commented on every single blog because I thought the kit was fantastic and I wanted to see everybody's creations. And I won a $50 gift card this morning. I was so happy! <laughs> so... I get to do some spending, which is great because eBay has sucked this year and I haven't had much of a craft budget, so that works out fantastically. All right, um, at that same barn sale church thing, for 10 cents I got this Jan Lynn counted cross stitch kit. This is, uh, what is it called? Oh, kittens in a row. And everything is here. Fabric's there somewhere. There it is. Um, probably about 15 with free shipping on that. Not fantastic but still great for 10 cents um then there was a little there's a little church rummage sale in the methodist church it's dirt cheap it's very small not many people show up to it but they had it in the morning instead of the afternoon so i hit that one before i went to the one inside the barn and at that one i got this needlepoint stocking he has a petty point face, if you guys can see that. Really nice. He was only a quarter, so I had to pick him up. Maybe 15 to 20 with free shipping on him. Continuing with the stocking theme, I got this one at the outdoor rummage sale on Saturday. Really pretty ribbon embroidery Christmas tree stocking. This is on linen, and it's got this plaid cuff on the top. And I didn't realize until I got home that it's actually from Hallmark. So I think I have this up for auction too at like 15 or 20. That was 75 cents, I believe. Then at that same outdoor sale, I got this Avon Creative Needlecraft Cruel Kit. I've bought a bunch of these in the past. I've had so, so luck with them. But this one is um, 
you know, the beehive with all the flowers. So I should easily be able to get like 15 with free shipping on that. Then uh, also at that outdoor sale, sometimes they have a lot of kits, sometimes they don't. This time it was eh. I only got three. This is the other one that I got there. This is also a dollar. And this one is from Artcraft Concepts, which is a weird company because they just put everything in a bag and they put like a general picture. And then when you turn it, the instructions over, you know which one, you know, you're actually stitching. This kit is for this pillow here, which is called Gold Golden Spires or something like that. But it's a Bargello kit. Should be able to get 15 to 20 out of that. This is also another Artcraft Concepts kit, and this one makes this monochromatic pillow down there. I know it's hard to see the stitches, and that one is called Erin Ivory. So again, probably 15 to 20. Then also at the outdoor sale, I got this Stop and Smell the Roses Needlepoint Pillow. It's in really good shape. It does have one little spot back here that I can probably hopefully clean up with a baby wipe. That was 75 cents, maybe 15 to 20 with free shipping on that. I've really been into the needlepoint pillow thing lately, especially since last month I sold one that I bought for $2 for like 110 bucks. And this woman in Canada who bought it was thrilled with it and said, if you find any other needlepoint pillows, let me know. So I have a bunch that I have to take pictures of that I bought in the last few weeks that I have to um, send her the pictures of to see if she's interested in any of them. But you can usually get them really cheap and some of them sell for really good money. So keep your eye out. And if they're too big and bulky, you can always tell the buyer you'll remove the pillow form and just send them the needlepoint pillow cover and that'll save a lot of shipping and might make you and your buyer much, much happier. All right, also at that same outdoor sale, I got this uh, Mastering the Art of French Cooking hardcover book. It's volume two. It is a first edition with the dust jacket. I paid a quarter for this and I have it up for 25 or 30 with free medium meal shipping, which should not be a problem at all to get that. Um, at a, well, at that outdoor sale, also got this little girl. She is a Napco. Oh no, not sorry, she's not Napco, she's Lefton. A Lefton birthday angel. She's from April, you guys can see that. Um, oh, I think I just sold something in my husband's store. I heard a cha-ching in the other room, yay! Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> um, she's holding a little mirror. She's in really good shape, except for one of the roses right here popped off. It was just glued on, so it's not chipped or anything, it just popped off. But I have her up for 25 with free shipping, I believe, at auction, and I already have a watcher on her. So, fingers crossed. And I paid, I think, 25 cents for her. Then, um, also at that same sale in their Christmas garage, <laughs> there's a garage on the property, and that's where all the Christmas and holiday stuff goes. I got this little trinket box, and it is from, never heard of this company before, Miss Heather's Plum Pudding Snowmen. Like, all right. It just looked very primitive and country. Oops, hold on. I'm going to stop and start again, guys. Okay. It looked very primitive and country, so that's why I bought it. Um, again, paid like a quarter for it, so hoping to get maybe at least 10 or 15. Um, 10 with shipping, 15 probably with free shipping, so. We'll see. I can't remember what I listed it for. I think I put it up for auction. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. I listed like 18, 20 things yesterday, so my head is kind of swimming. All right, this I bought at the barn rummage sale. Um, this is tummy cream. It goes with some kind of gizmo to, you know, make your stomach look flat and fabulous. Um, I paid a quarter for it. These are selling consistently for like 20 bucks with free shipping. That was pretty much the only thing they had in their like little health and beauty um, shelf that they had. And then also at that same barn sale, I got this, um, whoops, 
The Black Dog Martha's Vineyard Stoneware Mug, I've sold these in the past, so it's already in the system, so it's going to be really easy to um, list again. I paid 50 cents for this, so maybe um, probably 20 like I always get for my mugs, 20 with free shipping. Then at that, I think at that same barn sale, I did get two needlepoint pillows. I got this one, which has these like old time botanical flowers on it. This was three dollars, and it has a mate, which is kind of similar. And these are big, like sixteen inch pillows. That's why they're not showing up too well in frame because they're so big. Sorry about that. But those were three dollars a piece. Then for I think two bucks at that same sale, I got this Ralph Lauren wool um, polo men's plaid sweater. This is an extra large. For two bucks, I couldn't go wrong. You guys know I don't buy clothes, but occasionally I do. So I got this, and I think I can get at least at a minimum at a minimum I think about thirty bucks plus shipping. Then, um, also, while I was looking in the clothes in that section, I found this really cute Lily Pulitzer girls dress. It's a size like 3T. It does have a little yellowing up here, so I have to fix that. If anyone knows, I know you guys know how to fix that. Let me know, because I'm really bad when it comes to laundry. I really am. I hate laundry. Um, so let me know how to fix that, but it cost a buck, so... Couldn't go wrong. Probably 15 to 20 when I get the stains out of it. Then, let's see. I think that was it for the barn sale. Then at the little Methodist church one, which is really tiny and hardly anyone shows up, I got this Adidas hoodie. This is a kid's uh, large, I think. Something like that. Anyway. Um, it's in really, really good shape, so I should be able to get probably about 20 out of that, maybe plus shipping. And I paid 75 cents. Then also, at that same Methodist church, I got these Adidas basketball sneakers. These are brand new. They're a youth size 6, I believe, for 5 bucks. Couldn't go wrong. Should at least get uh, 20 to 30 plus shipping out of those. And then, oh, this is the other thing I got at the Obnoxious Ladies Garage Sale, where I got the Halloween house. I got yet another um, needlepoint pillow. This one is really pretty. has all these tassels on it, as you can see. And the birds, sorry guys, the birds are done in petty point. Um, I paid five for that, but it's in really good shape. So, we'll see. Um... Hoping to get at least $30 a piece on the pillows, maybe more. Some needlepoint pillows go for amazing amounts of money. So that's why I tell you guys, keep your eyes out for them. But none of those have any tags on them. You know, they're not from any famous maker or anything. Um, all right, then another thing at the Tiny Methodist Church Rummage Sale, I got this um, clock. This is from Villaroy and Bach. This is from their Alba pattern. I just love this retro, like, diner kind of feel to it. I think it's really cool. Anyway, um, I had good luck with one of their other clocks that I sold for, like, $40. So we'll see what happens with this. This, I don't think, is as desirable a pattern, but I paid a whopping $0.50 cents for it. So hopefully at least $20 to $25 plus shipping. Then at the... At the outside rummage sale, I think for a quarter, I picked up this little enamel frame. It's a tiny one for like a wallet-sized picture, but it couldn't go wrong for 25 cents. I might keep it and put one of my daughter's school pictures in it. Not really sure yet, but, you know, maybe 10 bucks on that. Then, um, also at the little tiny Methodist rummage sale, I got this latch hook kit. This is called Elegance. Um... This was a buck, I think. Uh, I think I have it up for auction at like 30. Some latch hook kits also can do really, really well. So keep your eyes out for those. And 
staying with the latch hook theme. I also got this from a garage sale after I went to that outside rummage sale on Saturday. This is one that I can't find anywhere else. This is a Winnie the Pooh cutout Pooh latch hook kit. So you finish him, then you cut him out. He's a figural like rug or wall hanging, which I haven't seen before. So I put him up for 30 at auction and we'll see what happens. Plus shipping, I believe. And then, last but not least, I think I only have three more things to go, guys, I swear. Um, I went to a bunch of neighborhood uh, garage sales after that outdoor rummage sale. And right after I got that poo latch hook, the next house over, I found this now um, figurine. She's really pretty. And she's called Sweet Nature. She has this little butterfly on the bottom of her dress. And I only paid five for her, and I have her up right now for, I think, 50 plus shipping. Which, I've had really good luck with now figurines over the summer. I found, I went to a rummage sale and bought a bunch of them for, like, three to five bucks a piece. And made out like a bandit. So, if you can find them cheap enough, they're definitely worth buying. You know, now, Yadros. <sighs> There's another one that I can't think of the name right now, but I'll try and put it down here. Um, that look like now in Yadros. And, and are just as high quality, and it starts with an N, and I can't remember the name, but I'll let you guys know. But those two. <laughs> and then, last but not least, at the very last house I went to, it was like 11, 11.30. And I know a lot of you probably think, oh, 11, 11.30, there's going to be nothing good left at garage sales. A lot of the times there isn't, but don't give up, because sometimes you'll go to one, and you'll still find good stuff sitting on the tables, as I did at this very last one I went to on Saturday. I saw these two dog figurines sitting on the table and got very excited and turned them over and I know you guys are not going to be able to see this because it's really, 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 really tiny but this says Royal Dalton right here so I was very happy I asked the lady, I said, you know, how much and she's like, oh, buck a piece I'm like, sold so this collie is up as a buy it now right now for 50 plus shipping and this English setter is up for 30 because he doesn't go for as much, um, plus shipping. And they both have three or four watchers on them right now, and I just listed them a couple days ago. So I should be able to get, you know, a good $80, $80 before fees on those two dogs that I spent two bucks on. So, you know, when you get frustrated, go into the garage sales, keep plugging away because you never know what you're going to find. So that's it, guys. I'm going to stop talking now. I think it's been like a half an hour video. And I I promise I will try my hardest to be more consistent. I know I say that all the time, but I will try. Um, also, with this past month, I also had the kids' consignment sale. My husband was gone for a week. He went to visit his family in Florida and go play golf with his brother and watch baseball games. And I was hoping I would have a week to do eBay, but instead the consignment sale came up and I spent the entire week inputting and tagging and prepping everything for that sale. I think I had like 250 items almost that went into that sale. So that was a lot of work. So that's finally off my plate. So now I can focus on just fourth quarter, listing, 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 and hopefully getting some more videos up for you guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great fourth quarter with tons of sales. And um, I guess I'll talk to you in the next video.